What's going on YouTube? This is what we Josh do and this is a video on a Raspberry Pi 2. I'm very excited about this. I've been following the Raspberry Pi and mini computer scene for a while and this is gonna be my first Pi. So I'm excited to unbox this and make a video for you guys today. So I ordered this from Adafruit. It's a website that sells them. I saw that Amazon had many different resellers. Some of you might think this is a stupid little product. But for people like me that like messing around with Linux and would like to learn more about it someday, this is actually a really cool product. So I'm going to go ahead and open this thing up. And here was the little bitty tiny Raspberry Pi 2. And I also ordered a case for it. Alright, that's it. There's nothing else in there. The Raspberry Pi 2 itself is like, you know, I don't know, $35. And then the case itself is like, I think six or seven dollars. So it's not very expensive. And these things can run Ubuntu. Windows 10 is going to work on them one day, which is also pretty cool. Uh, if you want to get a family member a computer and they're not very computer savvy and you don't have much money to spend, technically you could get them this and then a cheap monitor on Craigslist or something. Who knows? So we have a quad core Broadcom. BCM 2836 CPU with 1 gig of RAM, 40 pin extended GPIO, micro SD card, which is what your entire operating system is going to be stored on. So you want to make sure you get a class 10, preferably like a SanDisk Extreme Pro, a Lexar 633X, or just something that's fast. Uh, they're going to be a little more expensive, but you're going to get much faster read and write, meaning it'll boot up faster, programs will start up faster, uh, you'll be able to save stuff faster, everything will be faster. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what we get. This is, again, this is my first pie. I've never had a pie before. Uh, so I'm excited to test this out. We've got safety and instruction manual. So it's just a tiny little bitty computer. This is, this is awesome. I'm going to play with this and I might get some, my brother doesn't have a computer right now. So I might get him one of these too, depending on how well this one works out for me. We'll see. And then we have this little case here. So... That pops off, and then this would just go in here, like such, and we can keep it protected from being damaged and etc. All right, so let's just go ahead and take a quick little look at this tiny little guy. We've got our quad-core processor, our gig of RAM. We've got four USB 2.0 ports. You can hook up a USB webcam, USB card reader. Uh, you can hook up a USB mouse, keyboard, anything like a controller for playing Minecraft on here. You've got your Ethernet port, you got an HDMI, so everything's going to be going through HDMI. You've got a micro USB for uh, powering it. I believe it's 2 amps, 5 volts, so uh, any phone charger should be able to power this thing. And then you've got your microphone headphone combo port. I'm guessing it's a combo port. You've got some other connections here. Again, this is my first one, so I haven't really uh, been able to play with it. I don't know if those are East no, those aren't East Zeta. I don't know what type of connectors these are or what you hook up into them yet, but they just pop out and then you can plug like a ribbon cable into them. Again, this is, all right, I'm not going to say it again. I've never had one of these, so I don't know much about it yet at the moment, but I'm going to. I'm going to install Ubuntu on it. I'm going to test out Puppy Linux, Raspberry Pi's Linux UI. When Windows 10 becomes available for this guy, I'm going to also install that. So definitely going to be having some fun with this thing and seeing what all it can and cannot do. And also I didn't show it, but that's the micro SD card slot. It's on the other side. Now I'm trying to get the case to all line up properly, which I've got that wrong. All right, I am having difficulty getting this in the case. I don't know if my case is messed up or if there's something I have to do differently or if I'm just an idiot. But there you can see the Adafruit, A-D-A-F-R-U-I-T. I will have a link in the description so you don't have to go searching for it. But yeah, I don't know how this is supposed to go in there. Uh, it's just not lining up. I see the holes right here and then they're on, on the case. But it's just, it's just not going in there. I don't know if a certain side has to go in there first and then everything else comes into play after that. But... It's just not all lining up. Oh, there we go. Um, what about this side? See, that's not in there perfectly. And I don't want to break it forcing it in there. Like, I don't know if there's some kind of connector that's not 
going into play at the moment. <laughs> All right, but then once you do get it figured out, you just put this on there. You can see the little ventilation holes. Oh, actually, no. Those are for the uh, connectors that you would go put in there. And then you do have access to the micro SD card slot once it's in the case, so that's pretty cool. Again, I will have a link to this guy in the video's description below if you want to purchase one and check it out for yourself. I do have a second channel, and I'll probably be posting some tutorials on how to use this on there and what all you can do with it. I will have a link to that in the description as well. This is what would Josh do, and I'm out.